Hey guys, Jake and James here from Flawless Films. We're going to go through a quick Spider-Man web shooting tutorial with you. Yep, so um, here's what the end clip obviously looks like. And we'll get straight into it. Okay, you're going to want to start off with your clip in. Yep, we've already sorted all those out ready. Um, but you're going to want to make sure now you're on the layer, not the composition. Yes, you do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with you're going to want to go straight to your brush tool. And just put one dot on your opening frame. This is where Spider-Man is shooting the web to start off with. And when you go into the effect, you want to go down into effects, paint to brush one, and you're going to want to keyframe the path. And you're going to go forward a frame and just kind of draw out right where you want the web to travel um, in the first frame. Obviously, how far you go depends on how fast you want the web to travel from the wrist. Yeah, so what we've done is taking two frames for the web to get out of shot. And obviously we'll just quick it up here just for the couple frames afterwards just to show that it's still flowing out of the wrist. And then once you've done this, you're going to want to play with the settings a little. We've kind of done it a bit randomly on this one. Like you, you'll be able to see what we put, but um, honestly it's the yeah. player's choice. Yeah, best thing to do is just go through it, see what, what, you know, decide what kind of web look you're going for, play with the settings, see what fits your look best. Don't really want to copy this exactly because I'm sure... You don't want to be just like us. Or maybe you do. <laughs> so one thing we would say is make sure that you uh, change the colour a little bit. Found a solid white, made it look a lot more unnatural. Where if you make it slightly grey, yellowy, it helps a bit. Yes. Okay, and this is what we're at so far. Obviously, it doesn't look very much like web just yet. But have faith, it will. It definitely will. Okay, now you're going to want to do go back to your frame again, do another dot on top of the first one. So you got your brush two. Again, keyframe the path. And now you're going to want to go over it just like uh, you did with the first one. Don't go exactly over it. Make it look like there's a bit of variation in it, but it's going to want to be the same length. You're basically going to do this, you know, the, the exact same way. The reason for this is, if obviously, as you noticed a second ago, one single layer of web looks ridiculous. And if you actually look at a spider's web, or at least Spider-Man's web, it is like lots of different strands of web built up. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we've quickly just gone through. You want to have th this three times. Say three times, but again, it's your, it's your choice. Play with uh, what you think looks best for your web. So then you'll end up with something that looks like this. Next, go back into your composition. You want the uh, base layer, the empty layer underneath this again. So then on Paint on Transparent, you can turn it on. So now the web is just a standalone layer on its own. You'll understand why this is the case in a second, because what we want to do is duplicate this layer. And then what we're going to do now is flip it up because we're going to be using this as the shadow. Once again, this, uh, you know, depends on the shot you're, you're doing. You might not have a shadow in your shot. We happen to have one that's very clear on the floor. So this, you know, definitely helps sell the effect and look a lot more real. Yep, and then now we're just doing the basics to make it look like it. So we're gonna just tint it black. We're also gonna set the uh, blending mode to soft light. Just because of shadow. Are. Yeah, shadow is a soft light, so. There we go, that looks uh, pretty cool. Okay, and the one thing you're gonna wanna do as well with this is, uh, you're going to want to keyframe the position because obviously there is a bit of movement in this. Um, nothing drastic, just a couple of frames because it's quite subtle. And there we go. This is where we're at at the moment. Only a few more steps and then, then we're done. Okay, next, as you can see, the web looks quite you know solid and unnatural. So we, we can add a Gordon blur to it. Um, it kind of helps it blend in with the environment a little better. It looks a little bit more natural. Um, so just, again, play with that. See what you prefer. Yep, so yeah, this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, what you may notice is the web goes over the thumb, which it really shouldn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask it out um, just so it looks like it's actually coming from behind it. This will really help sell it as well because obviously the in more interaction with the real objects, the more it will sound the effect. So just simple now, just mask out the thumb. We're just going to go through this really quickly as we've shown masking in. A previous tutorial yeah so yeah so play with the feather just to make it match and then yeah we'll go through this really quick just keep masking just keep masking in case you guys haven't noticed james likes to say we're gonna you're gonna then we're gonna well we are gonna we're a team <laughs> we're a team and we're gonna do this together the flawless army <laughs> you are the flawless <laughs> The floor. Okay, now this last little thing, this is completely optional. It depends on what kind of Spider-Man you're actually going to go for as well. Yeah, if you're going for like the web shooter kind of Spider-Man web shooting, then <laughs> there might be some kind of, um, you know, 
burst out of the web shooter itself. If you're going for the sort of Tobey Maguire web shooter fent out of the wrist, then you wouldn't have this. But we're just adding a little powder hit, just for a couple of frames, just as the web shoots out of the wrist. Very easy. Yeah, again, just track it with the wrist. That that's be very subtle. Because it's just smoke, obviously, it can just blend in very yeah. nicely. It's one of those things you won't notice unless you really look for it, but it really does help out. <laughs> Almost fell off my chair there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this is where we're at at the end. As you can see, it's a good-looking web. We'll just quickly show you, you know, with color correction and sound. Okay everyone, thanks for checking out our tutorial for the Spider-Man FX. We did this video for the Ginger Ninja Trickster. If you haven't seen it yet, what's wrong with you? Uh, go and check it out now, the link's by here. Um, also check out some of our other videos, we do short films, other tutorials, so please, we'll put a couple of annotations up as well, and check them out. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>